Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. My name is Garrett Campbell. In today's video, we're going to be doing a more simplified version of a video that we covered in the past on furosemide or Lasix. And we're starting right now. Just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only. So the first thing to discuss in this presentation is what furosemide is used for. So furosemide treats fluid retention or edema and high blood pressure. This medication is called a diuretic or more commonly known as a water pill. We'll now discuss how to use furosemide. So first off, take your medication as directed. Your dose may have to change several times to find what works best for you. You may take furosemide with food if it upsets your stomach. If you're using the oral liquid, measure the oral liquid with a marked measuring spoon, an oral syringe, or a medicine cup. If you're using the normal tablet, swallow the tablet whole. Do not crush, break, or chew it. What happens if you miss a dose? So take a dose as soon as you remember, but if it is almost time for your next dose, skip the missed dose and take a regular dose. Do not take extra medication to make up for a missed dose. We'll now discuss some warnings associated with furosemide. So tell your doctor if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, or if you have kidney disease, liver disease, including cirrhosis, diabetes or gout, low blood pressure or lupus, an enlarged prostate, trouble urinating, or an allergy to sulfa drugs. Also tell your doctor if you are on a low salt diet. This medication may cause the following problems. So low levels of minerals in your blood, such as potassium or sodium, blood sugar level changes, or hearing problems. Make sure that any doctor or dentist that treats you knows that you are using furosemide. This medication may lower your blood pressure too much, especially when you first use it or if you are dehydrated. So stand or sit up slowly if you feel lightheaded or dizzy. This medication may make you more sensitive to sunlight, so use sunscreen and also do not use tanning beds or sun lamps. Your doctor will do lab tests at regular visits to check on the effects of the medication, so be sure to keep all appointments. Over the next two slides, we'll discuss adverse events or side effects. If you experience any of these, you would want to reach out to a physician. So if you experience an allergic reaction, which could present as itching or hives, swelling in your face or hands, swelling or tingling in your mouth or throat, chest tightness or trouble breathing, if you have blistering, peeling, or a red skin rash, if you have confusion, weakness, muscle twitching, if you have dry mouth, increased thirst, muscle cramps, or an uneven heartbeat, sudden and severe stomach pain with nausea, vomiting, fever, or lightheadedness, if you have hearing loss or ringing in the ears, lightheadedness, dizziness, and fainting, severe diarrhea, unusual bleeding or bruising, and finally, yellow skin or eyes. All right, everybody, that's all we're going to talk about today with furosemide or Lasix. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, remember you can like the videos, share the videos, and most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today. Take care.